Yo, AB Academy, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Avery B. As you can see, I'm outside. I was literally just about to leave. I was just about to leave the crib, bro. And then I realized, like, hold on. We got to make this video. I was watching a video on my um, channel literally this morning, bro. And it was about the 10 laws of AB. And I did this video like six months ago. And I'm looking at it. I was like, wow, bro. I still do this to this day. To this day right now, though, it's a bit updated. And I know a lot of people was not subscribed to me back then. So I'm about to redo that video for y'all today. And it's going to be real good. It's going to be real cool. Like I told y'all, I was just about to leave. So bear with me. We're going to be in unusual circumstances. I'm about to do this whole video in the living room right now, man. So let's get into it. Let's do it. What are the 10 laws of AB and why are they essential for you? So basically the 10 laws of AB is something where if you implement these in your life, you will be successful. Strictly because it's positive habits, reinforcing good behavior, reinforcing hard work on a consistent daily basis. It is a step-by-step -step program where if you implement it in your life every day, I guarantee you're gonna see some results. You're gonna see way much more results than what you're doing right now and that is in my opinion so law number one is going to be head start what does this mean ab this basically means getting a head start in your day being up before the sun being up before the birds being up before other humans that gives you a head start because there's nobody in this world that's going to distract you me personally, I like to wake up at 5 a.m. Do I really like to wake up at 5 a.m.? Not really when I be in bed and be asleep. But once I'm up and I'm up, oh my gosh, that is the best feeling in the world because I get the deepest work done. I get to do what I want to do. I get to do it at a high level. And it makes me accomplish everything before 10 o'clock. Right now, what time is it? Right now, it is currently 11 o'clock. Literally just hit 11 o'clock. I did a full days of work, bro, and I'm still about to go out and film some more. You know what I'm saying? I don't do my filming work, but I do my computer work, my business work in the morning. And waking up early helps me achieve that, and I guarantee you it's going to be a game changer for you. Next up, keep God first, man. This will be number one, but it is number one because we wake up number one. You feel me? Once we wake up, thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? The reason I thank God, I like to... I like to keep a higher power in my life because if you're not worshiping a higher power, you begin to worship yourself. And that's not a good thing, man. You feel me? You got to keep God first. You feel me? I ain't going to get all spiritual religious on y'all, but you got to have that higher power in your life. You got to be thankful, you know what I'm saying, to God for giving you this life. A lot of people don't wake up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't wake up this morning. You did. That's something to be thankful for. A lot of times we... I ain't even gonna say we. A lot of times people, not us, not AB Academy, a lot of times people just are ungrateful. And if you think that you fall into that ungrateful um, arc of people, not no more. You know what I'm saying? From this day out, you're not ungrateful. You are grateful. You are thankful for everything in your life. Because when you give thanks, when you give gratitude, it comes back in abundance in threefolds, twofolds. You feel me? Every time you thank God, every time you thank the universe for whatever you have in your life, bro, it comes back in multiples, multitudes, you feel me? So that's why number two is God first. Number three is going to be direction, having a direction for your life. If you was to go to Atlanta, New York in a car driving, what would you need? A GPS. Same thing as if you was to go from right now where you at to your goals. You need a GPS. You need a roadmap. So basically direction is having that roadmap. For me, I like to write down my goals. And what I mean by write down my goals, you want to write them in the present tense. Why do you want to write them in the present, present tense? Because that's what you have right now. You don't want to say, oh, I can't wait till I get this. You want to say, I'm so thankful because I got this. If y'all don't know, I started this channel. I started another one of my channels based on the law of attraction, based on speaking things into existence, based on writing things as if they are here right now. Because they are, bro. All you got to do is make that decision that you want that thing, that you have that thing. And you know what I'm saying? It's basically here. Act like you already got it. Once you move like you already got it, it's only a matter of time before you actually see it in the physical. Everything happens in the mental and the spiritual before it happens in the physical. So if you want to make $10,000 in one month, be like, I'm so thankful I made $10,000. Put emotion to it. I feel so happy right now that I just made $10,000 so easily. Oh my gosh, this is the best feeling ever. Now I can take care of my family. Write that down. Literally, I got a journal where I was writing that down and it came true. It came into fruition. Write this down. Read this every morning, bro, because that is your direction. That's why it's number three, direction. Number four is going to be stick to the plan. 
Stick to the motherfucking script. Stick to the plan. That basically means every day I have a plan of what I need to do. I, I know I need to do this task, this task, this task. Have a plan that's going to move the ball forward. This plan will move my ball, my personal ball, my personal agenda forward. So I do it every day because I stick to the plan. As long as you stick to the plan, you're going to be good. And as long as you do this next thing, which is going to be number what? Number five, focus. Focus, focus. Next time you work, next time you stick it to your plan. And I don't know, I don't know if y'all people, but all this is in order. You wake up, you pray, you get your direction, you get your focus. I'm missing one. Oh, I think that's it. You get your focus. Once you got your focus, bro, you are literally locked in. That's why I like to wake up in the morning because it maximizes my focus. This right here, you don't need this. Hop on your computer, put this up. You feel me? Ain't nobody texting it anyway. It's 5 a.m. Focus. Focus is an amplifier, you feel me? You got guy number one that does something for two hours. You got guy number two that does something for two hours. Guy number one focuses on it. Guy number two, he on his phone constantly on and off. This guy is going to get way much more done than this guy just because of his ability to say it with me. Say it with me. Focus, man. Number six, this is one of my favorite ones. It is called the buff nerd. Why is it called the buff nerd? It is called the buff nerd because we want to read and we want to work out. I like to do it in the same hour. That's what I did today. It was amazing. I ain't gonna lie. I space them out sometimes. But I realized, bro, if I wait to read until nighttime, it's way harder. You feel me? Figure out your system. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do it in the order I do it. Figure out your system. I figured out that if I read in the daytime, it's way much more easier than me. So today, what I did was I read the book, I worked out. It was great. You know what I'm saying? You wanna be a buff nerd, you wanna be strong and smart. You feel me? You wanna be that guy that niggas can't fuck with. Except for the person that look in the mirror. That's the only person that's going to be able to stop you. No cap. Buff nerd. Next up, we got number seven. No processed food or drinks. This one is, for me personally, for y'all, it might be different. This one, for me personally, is the hardest one. Only because when I walk outside, bro, it's just so much distractions and shit to eat. And I be hungry. I know y'all see a kitchen behind me. I don't cook. You feel me? Well, my girl here, she'll cook for me and shit, but... I don't cook. I need a chef. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably something that I got to get into. You know what I'm saying? But no processed food. Why no processed food? Because it's killing you, bro. Honestly, truthfully, whatever you put in your body, it shows on your face. You know what I'm saying? I do not drink sodas no more. I do not drink juice. And that significantly cleared my face up. You know what I'm saying? I severely limit fast food. I don't remember the last time I ate fast food. Last time I ate fast food, I got a salad from Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really eat no bullshit no more. I still will eat the occasional, like, you know what I'm saying, stuff outside at restaurants and stuff. But I got so much better in my life, bro. And I contribute this to just having a, a mindset to be like, okay, I know this is bad for me. Let me try to do better. You know what I mean? Ain't no even try. Let me do better because I've done significantly better. You feel me? Once you start incorporating better foods into your body, you're going to feel better. Everything going to be easier, bro. You know what I'm saying? Next up, number eight. This is a big one. It is no fear. You know what I'm saying? Fear is terrible for you. What does this mean? I seen somebody comment on my last video and he basically said, AB, can you teach me how not to care about what others think? That is nothing but fear. That is fear of criticism. You are scared of how that person is going to criticize what you do. So you don't do it. And significantly or in, 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 um, in the contrary, you are letting that guy decide your life. You letting him dictate what you do in your life because you're scared of what he's going to think. Bro, fuck him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Would you would you let somebody control your dreams, control your aspirations just because you care what he think? What, bro? That is crazy. I'm not going. You shouldn't go either, bro. Don't be scared of anything. And fear could be a lot of things. It don't just have to be that. It could be fear of criticism, fear of poverty. Whatever you focus on, fear-wise, it's gonna multi it's gonna multiply, man. You don't even want to focus on fear. We don't got none. Only thing we fear is God. You feel me? We don't got none. Only person that can stop us in this life is the person when we wake up and look in that mirror. That's the only person that's going to stop you. You feel me? They can't stop you. He can't stop you. She can't stop you. Only you can stop you. If you can't make a way, find a way. If you can't find a way, make a way. You feel me? Only person that can keep you from excelling is that person in the mirror. No cap. Number nine is going to be spending your money in systems. What does this mean? This means you want a system for your money. You want a system for everything. When you get paid, you want to percentage that, break it down. Pay some in your profit account. Make sure you take your profit. 
Make sure you put some aside to taxes. Make sure you put some aside to your investments. This is what you want to do because when you do it this way, you're going to get discipline in your money. You're going to get discipline in the way you spend it. You're going to get discipline on saving money. Everything is going to start working out for the better. You ain't going to have to worry about, damn, bro, I don't got this. I don't got. You ain't got to worry about that, bro. You ain't got to put yourself in that mindset of lack. You can walk around knowing where every, all your money is. You got an investment account on your phone. You got an investment account everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You got different accounts for everything. So now you feel better. You feel me? And last but not least, number 10 at 10 minutes, I see is going to be to track this list. Tracking is so important. Tracking is so, oh my gosh, I can't explain how much of a cheat code tracking is. Tracking basically shows you, ah, oh, damn, yesterday I fucked up. Today I'm going to do better. Damn, this whole week was crazy, bro. I'm going to make sure I do better. Damn, this shit, ah, it basically self-corrects for you, bro, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all know, but when airplanes take off, they're going in the wrong direction the whole time, but it always self-correct, 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 and tracking is your own self-correction mechanism, bro, and it gets you back on track. A lot of people ask me, AB, how you stay consistent? Bro, you stay consistent by tracking whatever you want to be consistent, you feel me? Attention, wherever your attention goes, yo, it grows. I forgot the exact quote, focus. Focus goes where attention grows. It's something like that, bro. But whatever you focus on, it amplifies. If you don't believe me, track whatever stats you want to grow for 30 days straight. And I guarantee you from day one to day 30, bro, not only are you going to have way more clarity on that situation, it's going to get better, bro. You feel me? If you don't believe me, I don't know what else to tell you. But if you want a tracker, I'm, I'm giving my tracker away for free right now. I'm giving my tracker away for free right now. I'm giving my tracker away for free right now. How do you get the free tracker? It's in my description. It literally says free tracker. You know what I'm saying? Only for the people who watched all the way through, though. You know what I'm saying? This is for the people who watched this 11 minutes. Make sure you redeem that free tracker right now. If you don't redeem that free tracker right now, I don't know when it's going to be free no more. This is literally a free gift from me to you. You know what I'm saying? Codes to AB, laws to AB. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Clap it up!